Okay, so these are the therapeutic exercises for the lower extremity and for the spine. And we're going to start with up, up on our table here. We're going to start with hip flexors and we're going to do most of the TheraBand stuff first and then we'll move into the free weights. So for hip flexors, you know that the main ones involved are iliacus and psoas or iliopsoas together and then rectus femoris. So I've got Marshall here with TheraBand or TheraTubing around his ankle. So go ahead and just grab a hold of the edge of that chair there, Marshall. And if you wouldn't mind now just bringing your hip and knee up. Good, as he brings that up into flexion, this is obviously working his hip flexors. The nice thing about these next few exercises is that TheraBand stays in the same position. So Marshall, I'll get you to turn now and face me. Yep. Good, and just take a step uh, just a little bit that way, right there, perfect. Now we're gonna do hip abductors. So if you can abduct your foot away about 45 degrees, good. And this is going to be working gluteus medius, gluteus minimus, tensor fascia lata. Excellent, now I'll get you to face the other direction. So he turns all the way around. Now um, you're gonna cross that right foot in front or behind the left, whatever feels more natural to you. Good, and now go ahead and AD dock that leg. Good, and let's have you, in fact, try to cross it in front this time. Let's take your right foot, yep, and cross it in front. I think you'll get more range of motion this way. Good. Yeah. So he's working his AD doctors. These are all the muscles such as adductor longus, adductor brevis, adductor magnus, gracilis as well. And uh, so now let's do hip extensors. I'm going to get you to turn and face that direction there. Good, and just pull it. Yeah, you've got enough slack there. And go ahead, and this time you just keep your legs straight. You just bring your hip back. This is working gluteus maximus as well as hamstring muscles here. Excellent, thank you very much. You can go ahead and uh, take that off for now. So we've done hip flexors, hip abductors, hip adductors, extensors. Let's do medial and lateral rotators with TheraBand. I'll get you to take a seat up here. This time you're gonna put your foot in that loop right there, perfect. Excellent, um, okay, and I'll get you to scoot this way just a little bit. Good, and this time what I'm gonna get you to do is to cross that foot in front as you rotate just at the hip. Excellent. So in this case, the femur is rotating outwards. This is hip external rotators with TheraBand. You can keep that on there and just scoot yourself all the way around that direction there. Yep, keep going. That's good. Now we've got the TheraBand lined up. So when he goes to the outside, the hip is internally rotating. So we've got hip internal rotators on that one. So that's hip external and internal rotators. So that covers the first part of that list. Now, some of these you can do with free weights as well. We'll come back to those ones. Let's uh, move along into a couple of stretches. I'm going to get you now, if you wouldn't mind, to remove that piece of TheraBand. That's the first stretch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead and have a lie on your back there for me. Now we're going to do a stretch for piriformis. For this one, we get our uh, client here to bring his knee up to 90 degrees and go ahead and take that hand and you're going to pull it up and across to about the knee in the midline with your nose. The other hand, if you can grab around the ankle, and this is just going to put a bit of rotation on it. So piriformis is naturally an external rotator except at 90 degrees it becomes an internal rotator. So to stretch it, he's going into external rotation here. Okay, so nice stretch for that for piriformis. Uh, let's see, a couple of other stretches. Let's have you stand up. Let's do IT band. So for IT band stretch, uh, let's have you facing that direction there. You can come against this board and uh, just face that way. And you're going to cross your back leg behind your, uh, sorry, your left leg behind your right leg. Yep, you got it. And uh, go ahead and just you put your hand up here for balance. And when you've got your hip like that, just take your hips now and just lean them this way. And this will start to stretch the IT band, the tissue on the outside of the leg. Okay, great, thank you. Let's do hamstrings now. Let's do a stretch for hamstrings and then we'll go into strength. Um, let's go have you laying down or sitting actually on the plinth there. Lots of ways to stretch hamstrings. I'll just show you one option here. You can go ahead and tuck this knee into the inside of your calf and now reaching forward to come as far as you can that way. That could be it. <laughs> Wherever it stretches, it stretches. And uh, so that's a nice way of doing it unilaterally. Of course, you can do this in standing, one foot up on a stool or something like that as well. Um, I'm gonna have you come down, we're going to put that foot back into that little bit of TheraTubing over there. And we're going to work hamstrings with TheraTubing. So I'm going to have you facing that way. That's it. And then go ahead and pull that TheraBand back just a little bit and make the motion of hip extension with some knee flexion. That TheraBand will ride up. That's okay. Good. Hip extension, knee flexion. This will work hamstrings a little more effectively. It needs to do both of those actions.
Very good. Let's uh, look at quadriceps. We're going to do this both open chain and closed chain. Let's start with open chain. I'll get you to have a seat on the plinth. Yeah, you can keep that right on there. Good. And uh, for this one here, if he just straightens his leg out, he's got some tension on theratubing. That'll work for his open chain exercise. can also do this with an ankle weight, obviously. That would work the same way. Good. You can go ahead and take that off now. And the next one we're going to do is closed chain. So standing right there, let's have you just right here facing me. Okay. And closed chain obviously is just doing mini squats, just bend your knees, good. This will work quadriceps and hamstrings at the same time. You can also do a lunge, taking your right foot or your left foot forward and keeping your back nice and upright, perfect. That'll do both quadriceps and hamstrings at the same time. So that's open chain um, and closed chain we've done for quadriceps and hamstrings. Let's do a stretch for quadriceps. Uh, if you wouldn't mind now just pulling one foot up behind you. Perfect, that's gonna stretch quadriceps really well. To bring in rectus femoris, if you just now take your hip and bring it into extension. Good, keep your back upright, excellent. Now we get a bit of a stretch for rectus femoris. Okay, let's do gastrocnemius and soleus. Let's do it in strengthening first. For strengthening, simply up and down on your toes will work gastrocnemius. And for soleus, it's that funny one where you get a little support on the chair, bend your knees, good, and now lift your heels up. That'll work soleus. Perfect, let's do a stretch for those muscles. How about stretching gastrocnemius first? You can go ahead and just um, stand perhaps between the two plinths against facing the wall. Back leg that you want to stretch is back. Good, and it's going to be straight. Front leg can go forward, that being your right leg a little bit. Good, and now have both hands against the wall. Lean your hips forward, keep that back leg straight. And if you don't feel much of a stretch, you could bring that back leg back a little bit. There, that's gastrocnemius. Stay right there, Marshall, and just bend your back knee. Good, you might need to bring it forward just a little bit. And there's soleus, he's got his back leg bent. Okay, perfect. That's gastroc soleus, we did stretch and strengthen. Um, let's do that one in an open chain. So to do open chain for gastroc and soleus, let's have you take a seat on the edge of the plinth there. Good, we're just gonna put this around like that and then scoot back if you wouldn't mind for me. Good, so to work first, I'm gonna actually do this one for dorsiflexors first right here. You can go ahead and pull your foot back towards you and he's gonna get some tension for dorsiflexors for tibialis anterior. Now if he wants to do this for his plantar flexors, that's using TheraBand. Uh, we can get a piece here and uh, basically all he would do is just hold it and I'll get you to plantar flex there. Good, that would work gastrocnemius. And for soleus, just go ahead and bend that knee up for me. Good, keep him bending a little more right there. Good, yeah, now go ahead and plantar flex. Right, so this is working Soleus with TheraBand. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's do everters and inverters. I'm gonna get you to have a stand over here, place the TheraTubing around your ankle. Uh, let's have this, sorry, around your arch, actually, if you could just have it sort of around the middle of your foot. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay, just come out this way a little bit and facing that direction. And we're gonna work inverters first. So from that position there, Marshall, you can just basically take your foot and just sweep your foot up and in. Up and in, yeah, that's it, exactly. <laughs> Sometimes good to give them some, uh, something to hold on to. <laughs> and that's for inverters. So this will be working tibialis anterior, tibialis posterior. Keeping the foot in the TheraBand, just see if you can turn and face me now. <laughs> Will it fit on, keep on there? Oh, you might have to put it back on. Thought it might work in one movement. Excellent. Okay, so everters, same thing. This time, obviously, sweeping up and to the outside. Good, and just keep your lower leg straight and just have it as an ankle movement so it's more just like, it's a tricky little movement. <laughs> Walk that way, just a little less tension. That looks better. Oh yeah, okay, that's much better. Yeah, makes sense, everters. Fibularis longus, fibularis brevis are the main ones involved there. Okay, I think we've done a pretty good job of most of those ones there. We're gonna go now to the spine and let's um, have you, you can remove that TheraBand and just have a lay on your back there for us. So let's start with rectus abdominis. Gonna, this muscle, of course, flexes the trunk. Gonna bend both your knees up here, feet flat. And you can take your hands and place them on the side of your head like this, good. And just have your fingers touching the outsides of your ears, good. Tuck your chin a little bit and then just come up just to bring your shoulder blades off. Excellent, and then back down. And let's have you do 100 more of those. 
<laughs> That's great. Thank you so much. <laughs> and you let yourself all the way down. Keep your hands right there. Good. So that was rectus abdominis. Let's do external and internal obliques at the same time. Aim this right elbow towards the left knee. As he comes up like that, this is the right external and the left internal oblique. And then back down. Now we're going to take the left elbow towards the right knee. And he's working left external, right internal oblique. Perfect. Okay, you can have your hands now by your side, staying in this same position. Now I'm going to get you to take two fingers like this and place them on your ASIS bones on the front of your pelvis. Good. From here, I want you to come in an inch, down an inch, and in this position here, just a little cough. And he's engaging transversus abdominis, right? So now, of course, the cough isn't all that effective, so I'm going to get you to contract and muscularly pull the belly button towards the spine. Perfect. Hold there for five seconds while you slowly let one leg, one, two, three, four, five, now you can release. Good. And contract again. Let this one, one, two, three, four, five, and release. Good. Thank you very much. That's transversus abdominis. While we're here, we'll do a stretch for erector spinae. Erector spinae, of course, extends the spine, so let's flex it. Take both your knees, pull them into your chest now. Good, and as he does this, this will stretch erector spinae. Now we're going to do a strength exercise for erector spinae. You can go ahead and let that go. And I'm going to get you to lie on your tummy with your head at this end here. So a couple of options here. Uh, one, you can have your hands just down by your side there like that. Good. And using the strength of your low back muscles, just bring yourself all the way, uh, just to bring your sternum up. So just bending backwards. Good. And that's one option. Another option is he could have his hands in a push-up position. This will just allow him to help just as much as he needs. Go ahead, just use your back. Good. And then to make this more challenging, you can have your hands by your side like you did when we were doing the uh, curl up. That's right. And using your back muscles again. This would be much more challenging, yeah. of course. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and that's for erector spinae. Okay. That's excellent. Thank you very much, Marshall. We're going to do a couple more exercises just with the free weight. So if we could just grab that ankle weight there. Perfect. And go ahead and pop that around your ankle. And the ones that we uh, can do for the free weight for ankle weight, there are really just a few here that we've got listed. One is abductors. So I'm going to get you to have a lay down on your side facing that direction there. So once again, looking at gluteus medius and minimus, keeping the top leg straight. Go ahead and lift that leg up in the air about 45 degrees and then back down. So that's glute med and min, as well as tensor fascia lata. And uh, let's do hip adductors or adductors. I'm going to get you to face this way this time. Good, that's right. And then this leg here can just kind of be a back a little bit. Hips are going to be stacked. This leg comes forward just a little bit. And uh, this comes back just a little bit more. Just so you get a little more separation. Yeah, that's better. Good. And go ahead now and lift that leg for me. Good. And as he comes up, he's working his AD doctors with free weight. The last ones left are hip flexors and hip extensors. So I'm going to have you stand up now for me. <coughs> For flexors, just like we do with the TheraBand, you can just simply just bring your hip up towards you. Good, that'll work hip flexors. For hip extensors, if you just turn around for a second, and uh, you can just lean forward a little bit on the plinth so you get yourself more against gravity. Yeah, just kind of bending, almost like so your hands are right, your forearms, there you go. And then just take that hip and just bring it straight back. Good, and that'll work as hip extensors. You can do that both with legs, the knee bent, so let's see that with the knee bent and do the same exercise and just bring it into hip extension or the leg straight. With the leg straight, uh, the only real difference here is that he's got his hamstrings more involved. That's the only difference. Um, okay, and that concludes all the exercises for the lower extremity and the spine. Any questions? Awesome. Okay, great. Thanks, Marshall. Okay, so we'll uh, get you to continue on to your stations and we'll finish that up. Thank you so much.